the next mayor, mayor-elect Eric Adams, yep. says that he wants a minority woman to be your successor. Will that make a difference in running the department? I don't think it should, and I mean that as a, as a compliment to whoever it is. The challenge is, though, to improve. Take what's here, make it your own. Whatever the problems are, whether it's crime, whether it's internal, whether it's mental health, there's always things to do. I think they'll do a great job. Is being commissioner of the NYPD all it's cracked up to be? And then some. You knew it was going to be different, a different job than anything you've done before, and it certainly lived up to that. I remember Bill Bratton, and he can verify this. When I was named the police commissioner, he said, you're going to have the toughest time of any of us. That was before we ever heard of COVID. That was before we ever heard of George Floyd. If the ravages of the pandemic and social unrest that led to violent protests defined Dermot Shea's two years as commissioner, it's crime and guns anchored by the controversy of bail reform that continues to weigh heavily on all New Yorkers. If you were to give me an adjective to describe bail reform, what would that be? You're holding me to one word? I think there's a lot of complications at this point. Um, well, the, the law itself, well-intentioned, what it was trying to do. Um, the execution, poor. Um, Where did we go wrong? Many, many places. You know, the first place we went wrong is we politicized it. Anytime you politicize public safety, I think you, you, you're playing with the third wire, you know, and you can get burned. Did you disband the plainclothes unit? I've said publicly multiple times, 100% me. And was that the right move? Yes. In I, hindsight? I, I believe so. You can say plain clothes versus a uniform is making a significant difference. Everyone knows who they are. I can assure you that. Um, they, in fact, they have body cameras on. In fact, they drive the same cars every day. We also have to protect the cops where people know exactly who they are when they get out of the car. So they're not getting as attacked by people with firearms. So it's a complicated issue, but um, I knew we could get the guns off the street. We're taking more guns off the street than we ever have. Does that mean, though, that there are more guns on the There's street? There's absolutely more guns on the street. And the why real, is that? The, because nothing happens when you get caught with a gun. Nothing happens when you go into a store and steal property that's not yours. And, and, that, I, and I could go on and on. Does the, that go back to bail reform? It goes right back to a environment of bail reform, prisoner-friendly, condoning bad behavior. Taking school safety officers. Big mistake. That was a mistake. I have thick skin, but that one bothered me not for me personally because it was an attack on members of the NYPD who, facts matter, are predominantly women, predominantly older women, predominantly people of color. And to assert that they are the problem in schools, militarization of the schools is just preposterous. Did the mayor ever order you to make any um, changes that you possibly didn't agree with? We would discuss things frequently. You know, um, I think that's the give and take in, in government. So. You know, um, ultimately, I have a pretty firm belief that, you know, my police department, I'll run my police department. If that wasn't the case, I would, I would, I would leave. Did he have suggestions on things? Of course he did. I had suggestions the other way as well. You had a lot going against you. You had the pandemic. You had the social unrest. You had the defund the police movement. You had the mandatory vaccines, the mandatory masking. Yes. Did you get a fair shot as commissioner? Absolutely. I don't have a single complaint. I really don't. You deal, you, you sit down at the table and you play the cards that were dealt. This is, this is, you know, the time we were in.